At halftime, Denver is leading by a score of 24 to 10. And Sonny Jurgensen, before the start of the ball game, I ask you to give us an assessment of the play of the quarterback. Tell me now, what's your assessment now of the play of Matt Robinson in the first half? Obviously, he said he wasn't going to play another bad football game as badly as he played against Philadelphia. And he certainly didn't. He came out with a hot hand. In the first half, he was picking out the right receivers and going to them, and uh, he was impressive. Uh, he threw the ball. I'm sure he worked all week on throwing the ball on time, and he hit a lot of receivers just as they broke open, and he is testing that Dallas secondary. Now, in the first quarter, of course, the Cowboys didn't really get a chance to get their offense going because Denver played the possession game, and they had the ball most of the time. That's right. Danny White did not have the ball. Uh, I thought he was impressive late in the second quarter when he had a chance in the in the two minute drill that he took them down the field. He had a couple of balls dropped in that drill and uh, that was unfortunate for him. But I think they're going to both come out winging it in the second half. 24 10 halftime here in Denver. Now let's go to New York and Brent Musburger. Welcome back to New York. I'm Brent Musburger with Earl Cross. Let's go to the scoreboard right away and get you up to date. A lot of finals in, of course. Here's 42-7. Big day for Wilbur Montgomery. 20 carries, 169 yards, two touchdowns, one a 72-yarder. Atlanta over highly touted New England at the AFC. 37-21, Junior Miller. Eight catches, 116 yards, two touchdowns in that game. What's wrong with the Jets? 20-10, Buffalo Jets now 0-2. Ferguson, 11-19, 141 yards. Billy Sims does it again. Three touchdowns against the Rams. Paramore against against Green Bay, carries the ball 20 times for 134 yards, two more catches for 94 yards. That's five touchdowns in two games. Pittsburgh comes from behind to beat Baltimore 2017. Bradshaw goes 25 yards to Jim Smith for the winner in that game. Seattle hangs on against Kansas City. 17-16, KC's Nick Lowry, pick up from Dartmouth, kicked a pair of 50-yard field goals, 157 yards in that game, but Seattle holds on. Chicago downs New Orleans 22-3. Walter Payton, 18, 180 three yards including a 69 yard run for a touchdown way to go Walter Cincinnati over Miami 7-0 at the half in that game what's wrong with the Dolphins St. Louis and San Francisco Bill Walsh sends everybody out in his pass patterns and Hofer pulls one down from DeBerg and they're on the board in the third there now Oakland trailing San Diego 10-3 it was Fouts Jefferson that has put the Chargers ahead in the second and of course the game you are watching Denver over Dallas and the Cowboys have to be troubled and I should say they have to be tired because of that long travel back from Washington. And speaking of Washington, 2014, they lead the Giants at the half, and that is an entertaining game. You know, it is generally agreed that professional football is a different game than it was in its earlier era. We hear the players are bigger, faster, better coached, but there have always been Giants on the earth in the NFL. Now, in what will be a regular feature of our doubleheader Sundays, Jack Whitaker explores legends of the game, and today, a look at a player who is tougher than crushed rock. Pro football is king. The new national pastime. 20 years ago, when stadiums were not pleasure palaces and the grass was real, the game was played by a breed now as extinct as the dinosaur, the warrior. Such a man was Concrete Charlie, Chuck Bednarik. Bednarik was All-American at the University of Pennsylvania. All-Pro with the Philadelphia Eagles, a member of the Hall of Fame. Number 60 was a 60-minute man who played both ways, center and linebacker, and led his team to the NFL championship in 1960 against the Green Bay Packers. Well, Chuck, we both logged a lot of hours in this great old stadium, haven't we? Yes, sir, You in college and the pros. There's a story going around, Chuck, that you and Chuck Knoll had a little altercation in your playing days. Well, Chuck, I'd never been knocked out in my life, and on a fourth town punting situation right here in Philadelphia, as I snapped the ball, brought my head up to go downfield, I got hit with a forearm. I'd never been knocked out in my life, and I, I was woozy, and I finally came to. I saw a yellow flag go by, which meant there was an infraction, and I saw number 63, and I said, and I can't use the Aggies, I said, when this, when this game's over, I'll get you. I'll get you when this game's over. I'll get you. I'll come in the locker room. I said, when this game's over, pal, I said, I'll be right here. Game's over, and I look, and here he come. As he approached me, he said, are you ready, you son of a... 
by the time he said the other word, pow, it was all <laughs> over with. We were on television back to Cleveland. I received a lot of nasty letters. Burt Bell was in the stands. I was fined $100, and I was told to apologize four weeks later when we were going to Cleveland, which I did. In the 1960 championship game against the Green Bay Packers, Bednarik, the linebacker, helped bottle up premier Packer backs Paul Horning and Jim Taylor. On offense, Bednarik, the center, started the wheels in motion for quarterback Norm Van Brocklin and Tommy McDonald. The biggest thing I remember, we were ahead 17-13, last play from scrimmage, right there. Nine-yard line, I, I remember. got Taylor, laid on him, looking at this clock right here, because I could see from yeah. there, the seconds ticking, and he was trying to get up, and I got a figure four on him, and that Southern accent telling me, the worst I can do is to when I saw the clock go zero, I got up and said, you can get up now, this blanket blank blank game is over. With the Eagles on the verge of a title after two decades of mediocrity, the man who shaped their glorious past is helping to shape their future as well as an assistant to Dick Vermeil. He is Chuck Bednarik, the last of the Warriors. And for a couple years, you were a warrior with him. What was he like in an Eagle defensive huddle? A real excitable guy, a take charge type guy. But you know, he had those steel gray eyes, and you saw the expression on his face in that piece. A real competitor. Did you ever cross him? No. Okay. Never would. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the NFL today will continue on CBS with highlights after these messages from your local stations. Catherine Ross is the woman with a chance to become a champion in a desperate gamble that could cost her everything she loves. Rodeo Girl, the CBS Wednesday night movie at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. This is CBS. Uh, Space Station 12, this is ground control. There seems to be a weight variance of plus three pounds in the main cabin. Please confirm, over. This is Space Station 12, cannot confirm weight variance. Breaking for chow now, over. Gentlemen, this is our steak. This is our salad. And this, this is our weight variance. All right, Strohs. Captain, now I know why you're captain. Hey, Kramer, baby. I once intercepted 14 passes in one season. Nice train. I caught 37 passes in one season. Excuse me. Uh, I scored 16 points in one half. <laughs> well, in, in Michigan football, the new instant lottery game. A game? If your score beats or ties their score, you win. Let me see that. And you could win up to $5,000 instantly or $1,000 a week for life. Hi. Could you teach me to play football? There's big money in Michigan football. Play today. Why buy a machine that does only one job, like a mulching mower? I recommend Snapper. You get all the advantages of a standard mower, and with this inexpensive mulcherizer, you can chew up cutting so fine they become lawn food. When grass is too tall or moist for mulching, remove the mulcherizer and use your Snapper in a conventional way. Before you buy a mower, compare the versatility, quality, and performance of a Snapper. Any way you cut it, it's a Snap with Snapper. Available at Arnold Blonde and & Bike and Voss Mower Sales Grand Rapids. It's Tic-Tac-Doe, weeknights on Active 3. Irv, I know you've got laryngitis, and I hate to do this to you, but take your Philadelphia Eagles against Minnesota. What a day they had. Great day. Of course, they won the ball game 42-7. It's the first time since 1961 they won their first two games of the season. There goes Wilbur Montgomery on his left end for a 72-yard run. Brent's the longest CD run of the year so far in the league. The Eagles take a 14-0 lead. But Tommy Kramer gets his club back into the hunt with a pass to number 28, Ahmad Rashad, for a 16-yard touchdown, 14-7 Philadelphia. But in the third quarter, Leroy Harris goes over his right guard for a touchdown. The Eagles take a 21-7 lead. Jaworski goes to the air and hits Scott Fitzke, a wide receiver out of Penn State, who's earned a job on the Eagles squad. And they, again, widen their lead. And late in the game, Jaworski goes to his favorite target, Harold Carmichael, who now has caught 114, a pass in 114 consecutive games. Atlanta, Steve Bartkowski pulls out here, Irv, and goes to Wallace Francis. Francis, one of the quicker receivers, and he steps on in, and it was 14-7 Falcons. Here's one of Irv's favorite players, tied in by the name of Junior Miller, rookie from Nebraska. Great big target. He can block off the line, too, and Irv says, watch out, could be the rookie of the year. Now, watch this play. At the time, it was highly controversial. Grogan goes to Stanley Morgan. 
From the Atlanta 26, they call a touchdown. Both feet were not in bounds, but as Irv Cross pointed out, he's shoved by the defensive back. Good call by the official down there in the corner. New Orleans, Chicago, Mike Phipps pulls out. Do you realize that a bare tight end hasn't scored since 1977 before this play right here? And it was Fisher on in against the Saints, 10-3. Russell Erksleben, his troubles continue to mount. Missed that field goal that would have put him back in the game. Archie Manning's reaction. Manning played the second half with a broken nose. Alan Page tackling to the end zone for a safety. Now here it is, Walter Payton, one of the best plays of the day. 69 yards for the touchdown. His longest touchdown run as a Bear. And Chicago is back in business. And the NFL today continues on CBS in just a minute. Before this station wagon became a station wagon, it had to be something a lot more. It had to be a Mercedes-Benz. The preceding message was furnished as a public service by the National Football League. Here at Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado, before a sellout crowd, the score at halftime, is Denver 24, Dallas 10. Both teams have come back on the field now, prepared toward the beginning of the second half. Tom Landry, arms folded along the sideline. His Dallas team is huddling out there near the 45. I'm sure, Lindsay, he's a little disappointed in a performance of his team coming off of Monday night win over Washington. And the fact that his offense sputtered and gave up two touchdowns in that first half and we're going to see a different Dallas team in the second. I'm sure Red Miller's aware that things aren't going to be as easy for him in the second half. This is the Denver team, the Denver Broncos, and Red Miller along the near sideline here. And here is the scene at Mile High Stadium, where today we have their 73rd consecutive sellout. 75,103 is capacity. The Broncos come on now. They had a little change here of which direction each team was supposed to go in. Now they've changed into the field. Freddie Steinfort has teed it up, and James Jones has gone deep to receive it for the Dallas Cowboys. It's a great place to play for kickers and passes. The ball travels nicely in this thin air. James Jones. At the three-yard line, he's at the five, at the 10, at the 15, he's at the 20. James Jones is brought down near the 23-yard line. That is where the Dallas Cowboys will start first and 10. I think an important drive, Lindsay, for Dallas, this first series on offense. And I'm sure Red Millis told his team, if we stop them right here and get some points on the board, it's going to be an easier second half for us. Danny White in the first half was nine for 16, 120 yards, one touchdown. Passing. Tony Dorsett carried 10 times for 39 yards. He had a 3.9. Austin, a man in motion out of that formation. It's Drew Pearson to the left side. And it's Ron Springs carrying. No place to turn. He is closed off by Louis Wright. Ron Springs from Ohio State. Or if you had to write the qualifications for playing cornerback in this league, you could just ask Lewis Wright how to play it. He's been showing people for a long time. It's his sixth year, he's from San Jose State. Second down, nine yards to go at the 24. Dorset. Speeds out of bounds. At the 30-yard line, Bernard Jackson ran him out. Where he played, it looked, didn't look like he was going to get any yards. He ends up making a pretty good run out of it. Six yards. Setting up third and about four or five. Got six yards on that sprint. The first half, Ron Springs carried the ball only three times. He picked up 12 yards. Third down play coming here. Springs. 
Goes out of bounds at the 39-yard line, perhaps the 40. Good save, good save throw that time, getting Springs isolated on Rob Nairn. You look at this defense, how well they play, and realize that they are playing without a very underrated linebacker in Bob Swenson. It's first and ten, and the ball is at the 40-yard line. Two-person wide right, Tony Hill on the wide left. We're setting Springs at the setback. Springs. Got it to the 48-yard line. Second and two there. Tom Jackson, eight-year veteran from Louisville on the tackle. Springs going off, lost a shoe. Newhouse coming in for him. Robert Newhouse, the nine-year veteran from the University of Houston, in for his first time today. Newhouse is the up back. Garcet got the first down with yards to spare at the 48-yard line of Denver. Cowboys are driving steadily. Two consecutive first downs. Rizzo and Nairn made the tackle. See it at ground level here. Gratishaw goes through, shoots a gap, and almost makes the play behind the line of scrimmage. Couldn't get a grip on Dorsett. Dorsett continues to drive and picks up enough for the first down. Cowboys first and ten now at the 48-yard line of the Denver Broncos. Newhouse stays down. He's in the left set. Dorsett. Trying to get to the 45, Joe Rizzo made the first contact there. Play designed to go inside that time. Didn't see any daylight ducked outside and ran into some white shirts. Tony Dorsett has carried 13 times for 52 yards so far in the game. Wide receiver splitting out. Ron Springs alone setback. Springs has got it. Got down from behind. Again, almost a bad exchange between Springs and White. Three or four times that has happened today on the exchange, and one of them resulted in a touchdown for Denver in the exchange with Tony Dorsett. Bison Manor pull him down from behind. The ball is spotted at the 45-yard line, where it'll be third down and seven yards to go. Springs has carried six times now for 20 yards. Big third down play. Into the shotgun. Danny White. Finley marker at the line of scrimmage. Incomplete. There was a marker thrown at the line of scrimmage. Drew Pearson, the intended receiver. Bill Thompson covering defensively. against Denver. Still not going to be enough for a first down, but they will get third down over. Danny White just overthrew Pearson that time on a crossing pattern. Had it too high for him. It'll make it third and two. Now, wouldn't you think they're going to run for it? They're coming in with... Third down. They have three tight ends in the game right now. Cosby, Dupree, and Saldi. Ruben Carter just back in there defensively for Denver. Garcet and Springs are the setbacks. Springs first and ten. Move inside to 35. Louis right on the tackle. Boy, some good blocking by the right side of that line. Dupree, Cooper, take a look at this. Right from the end zone, you see the blocking. Rafferty, Cooper, and Dupree. Good blocking and enough for the first down. First and 10, Dallas at the Denver 35-yard line. Denver is leading 24 to 10. We have 11 minutes, 18 seconds left in the third quarter. The Dallas Cowboys are driving. Tony Hill to the left side. Drew 
transition to the right side for Danny White. Tony Dorsett. That's to the 33. Picked up two to be second and eight. Joe Rizzo made the time. Dorsett from Alacupa, Pennsylvania, played four years at the University of Pittsburgh, was All-American all four years, played for Johnny Major there. Second down play coming for the Cowboys. Then they're going to their four down linemen to get some pass rush, anticipating the pass. Dorsett is off the field. Jay Saldi took it, and it is at the 25-yard line. It looks to be just short of the first down. Tom Jackson made the stop. Looks to be about a foot short, maybe 18 inches. You see Ralphiel Fitzian over there, practicing his field goals. Third down and less than a yard to go. Cowboys at the Denver 25. Dorsett and Springs are the setback. Dorsett. First and ten. Cowboys keep the drive alive at the 23. Gattishar made the stop. Again, the blockers staying on their feet, doing a good job. Good block by Dupree. Springs coming out. And a block on right as he spins out. Dorsett following the block and picks up another first down. A good time-consuming drive. Butch Johnson is coming to the ball game now. Wide receiver. Dorsett has gone out. And the shotgun. Bill Pearson in motion back to the inside. Snap almost went awry. Danny White going long to Drew Pearson, and it's incomplete. Louis Wright covered. Well, what a good job Danny White did in getting this snap from the shotgun. It was low and away from him. Second and 10 at the 23-yard line. Pearson coming back to the huddle from having gone deep. Tom Landry, fourth winning his coach in the NFL history. 13th play coming up in this drive. Ron Spring, just inside the 20 yard line. Tom Jackson there. Jackson must have been King Springs that time. Must have had him on coverage because they ran a draw play and he came right over and made the play. You gotta watch, he's the only remaining back. They go back, run the draw play, and Jackson coming right across, didn't get blocked, Saldy couldn't block him, comes over and makes the play. Third and seven, 14th play coming up in the drive. Danny White. Dupree incomplete. Fourth and seven at the 20 yard line. The field goal unit is coming on. Raphael stepped in. I had a mix up in the pattern then. So taking the kickoff to open the second half, the Dallas Cowboys drove from their own 23 down to the 20 now. Where apparently they're going to go for the field goal with seven minutes 58 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. Denver leading 24 to 10. I don't know what the communication was in that pattern, but it was a somewhat off because Dupree and Hill crossed each other about the same distance downfield. 38 yard attempt. Waters holding Septi and Boots. The 38 yarder is good. Raphael so now it is Denver 24 and Dallas 13. And the clock says we have 7 minutes 54 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter here in Denver, Colorado. For years, 
years, the needs of the European driver have been defined by their roads, which are small, and the price of gas, which is large. And Ford has been there. For over 50 years, we've been building small cars in Europe. Today, when America needs high-quality small cars, the incredible world of Ford is working to meet that need, building a new generation of cars with world-class technology right here in America. Tomorrow arrives October 3rd with the new Mercury Lynx and Ford Escort, competing with anything in their class from anywhere in the world. Tuesday night, it's the all-new Linda Carter special Encore. Merle Haggard and Tom Jones join Wonder Woman Linda for a dazzling hour of singing and dancing Tuesday night. Raphael Septian kicking off now for the Dallas Cowboys. Mike Harden is center deep. Touchback, it'll be put in play first and ten at the 20 yard line. So the Denver Broncos take over first and ten, and they have it at their own 20. Here you see a rookie running back, Rick Paris from Utah State, sitting there, good advantage point to watch a game. I'm sure he'd rather be out on the field. Now, can the Broncos move the football? Matt Robinson brings them up. to Jensen. Got about three or four. Got a second and six at the 24-yard line. Ed Too Tall Jones made the tackle. A little pressure on Dallas defense right now to stop. As you take a look at that scoring drive, you see how long they had the football. Seven minutes and six seconds. They'd like to stop them right here and give it back to the offense to get some more points. Good call this time. Quick screen out to Preston. Has some linemen out in front of him. He breaks the tackle of Heckman and, and goes up the sideline with it. Picks up a first down. That Paul Howard out in front of him, among others, as you look along the sideline of Danny White now. First and ten, the ball is at the 42-yard line for the Broncos. Haven Moses outside left. Danny White to Haven Moses. Incomplete at the 47 yard line. Aaron Mitchell covering. Second and 10 to 42. There is a marker. There is a marker. And we're going to get a holding call. Boy, Danny White got some pressure on that pass. And it was a quick rhythm pass. He only takes three steps to throw that ball. And Danny White got pressure. Number 62, offense, first down. Tom Glassick. That's who he was blocking, too, Randy White. Glassick had an interesting statement. He said, the only stats an offensive lineman make, they're both negative, sacks and penalties. First and 20 at the 32, Otis Armstrong and Lars McCutcheon are in there now. Armstrong and McCutcheon are the running back. Quick pitch, Armstrong. Otis Armstrong to the 40-yard line. Picked up eight yards on the play. Steve Wilson made the stop. It'll be second down and 12. Good piece of running here by Armstrong. A pitch back deep. Deep man in the eye. Following his blocking. McCutcheon in. Throwing a block. He gets right behind McCutcheon. Cuts back off of him. Mitchell misses. Steve Wilson coming across making a tackle. Otis Armstrong has carried six sacks for 31 yards today. 
Denver's been penalized seven times for 60 yards. Dallas two for 15 yards. Jensen carrying. He had come back in there for McCutcheon. Bob Brunig, the middle linebacker, made the tackle. In the third quarter, St. Louis is leading San Francisco 14 to 7. Cincinnati over Miami. What's wrong with Miami? Cincinnati 14 to nothing. That's also in the third. Oakland and San Diego tied up at 10 apiece. Right here, Denver 24, Dallas 13. Third down, seven yards to go. Denver at their own 45 yard line. Matt Robinson. And it's completed to the 35 yard line. Steve Watson. Steve Watson inside the five near the three yard line. Robinson to Steve Watson. Number 81. They had double the outside receivers. Double the outside receivers. Watson came out. What made this play successful was that Robinson moving in the pocket, going back up through the pocket, finding Watson stationary, hitting him, and does a good piece of running after catching the ball. 52-yard pickup on the pass play. Makes it first down and goal to go at the three-yard line. the ball. Now Dave Studdard was there too. Studdard's a tight end in this alignment. So Studdard is an eligible receiver down there. You'll see him again number 70. I want to see Studdard going out on this pattern on the bootleg pass again. Nobody to throw to. He throws it up and it did get out of the end zone. Studdard's got more tape on his hands than Johnson has in their in their warehouse. Second out and goal to go at the three yard line. Denver is leading 24 to 13. Three and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. Second and goal at the three. Armstrong in the left side. Jensen in the right side. Armstrong. Touchdown. Otis Armstrong took it in. From the three yard line. Take a look at it. You see him, Vlasic pulling out, leading the block on Waters, and he just breaks the tackle there of Tuchal and gets into the end zone. Good balance, good strong running by Armstrong. So the Dallas Cowboys drove downfield and got a field goal here in the third quarter, but the Denver Broncos came right back and got a touchdown, and they have a conversion attempt coming. Brady Steinford is in to attempt it. Matt Robinson holding. Denver Broncos 31, the Dallas Cowboys 13. Look again. You take a look, you just break the tackle right from ground level. And the fans are happy at Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado. The Army can make you feel a lot of ways, challenged, trained, and proud. With this time, with these people, with this feeling, feeling good, feeling good. Using this surgical fiber optic camera lens, Prestone Labs is going to show you what weak, neglected antifreeze can do to your radiator after only 9,000 miles. Look at these passages, rust, corrosion, 
Continued neglect could clog them and overheat this radiator. Before this happens to you, put in Prestone 2. Prestone has a patented silicone silicate formula that forms a tough protective barrier to lock out rust and corrosion. Prestone 2 and Prestone Super Flush. No wonder we're number one. Next Saturday at 3.30 Eastern, Hill Marchetti defends his WBA lightweight title against ex-champion Ernesto Espana. You'll say you saw it on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Tom Landry wants a word with Ron Spring. Landry, the dean of NFL coaches in his 21st season. Now his quarterback's there. Have the kickoff coming here now. Steinford puts it up. And it is fielded at the 11-yard line. to the 12-yard line by Eric Hurt. And so they'll start their first and 10. Harvey in to make the tackle. 421 on the scoring drive. The thing that was impressive is they came back and scored after Dallas did, and they made the big play again, the long pass to Watson. Denver has made all of the big plays today. They drove 80 yards on seven plays. Cowboys get it again. First and ten. First and ten. Seventeen. Don Frank. Covered across the twenty-five. Jimmy Foley in to make the tackle. Ball is spotted squarely on the twenty-five. Second down and two. Second down, two yards to go. Two minutes, 50 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Mile High Stadium in Denver. Danny White brings him up there. Here's his cut. Springs and door set. White. Intercepted at the 40-yard line. And being returned by Steve Foley. Steve Foley down the sideline. Danny White blocks him out at the five-yard line. Foley intercepted, returned to the five. Well, White blocked him out of bounds. That's one pass that Danny White would like to have back. He rolls in the boot leg left, but he throws the ball right in the coverage. You see two men covering. Foley over there makes the interception and returns it down again. Another big play by the Denver defense. So now the, Den the uh, Denver, Cow Denver Broncos are threatening again. First and goal at the five. Jensen and Preston are the setbacks. Down and goal to go. Tom Landry. Bob Brunning going to make the tackle. Again, the Dallas offense put the defense in the hole. Well, you see a dejected Danny White right there. He would like to have that one back. He tried to force it. David Moses far to the right side. Jensen took it in for a Denver touchdown from the four-yard line. What a hole by that offensive line. Take a look at this. Everybody disappeared. Good block at time. Brian, Glassick, and Howard. And Jensen could have gone. He could have made it to Aspen. Nobody there. 37-13 is the score. There's a conversion attempt coming. Eddie Steinfort. Matt Robinson holding. Down. And good. It is 38-13. Denver leading the Dallas Cowboys. Look again. Just a fine block in that time. Denver 
fans are making all the noise they can. Oh, what a feeling. Lean and clean. Symbol of the Toyota Celica. Celica. Lean and clean and a little bit mean. Aerodynamically styled to let the wind glide over its surface. Carefully engineered for the 80s to give amazingly precise performance. The Toyota Celica. Because a lean, clean machine is a very good feeling. Uh, space Station 12, this is ground control. There seems to be a weight variance of plus three pounds in the main cabin. Please confirm over. This is Space Station 12. Cannot confirm weight variance. Breaking for chow now, over. Gentlemen, this is our steak. This is our salad. And this, this is our weight variance. All right, Strohs. Captain, now I know why you're captain. Ready stand for it, puts the ball in the air. Hurt is waiting for it. He has it at the two-yard line. Hurt to the five, to the 10, to the 15. Dives his way up near the 25-yard line. Eric Hurt. Rushing today, Dorsett has carried 15 times for 57 yards. Ron Springs has carried nine times for 36 yards. The Cowboys get the ball. They get it first and 10. And they have it at the 25-yard line. Couple of scores, Lindsay. St. Louis, San Francisco tied up at 14 apiece in the fourth quarter. In the third quarter, Oakland leading San Diego 17 to 10. Danny White, still at quarterback, brings and doors set the setbacks late in the third quarter for the Dallas Cowboys. Dorsett. the 28-29 yard line. Steve Foley. Good team defense that time. Every time Dorsett avoided somebody and made another move to get outside, that Denver Bronco was right where he should be, and Foley ends up making the play. Second down and six yards to go for the Cowboys at their own 29. Danny White in the air today is 11 for 21, 137 yards, one touchdown, one interception, one sack. 54 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Denver leading 38 to 13. Ron Springs is carried. No game. Swarm by the Denver defense. Well, you said Jonas it. Don Latimer. You said it. Swarmed. Numbers to the ball. Third and six at the 29. Ball is going off to pre coming back in. That's a tight end. Red Miller, head coach of the Broncos. Head coach three years. He's had him in the playoffs three years. Shotgun. Danny White. Dupree incomplete. The tight end, Billy Joe Dupree, incomplete Bernard Jackson covering. Gun has sounded, ending the third quarter. So that is the end of the third quarter. It's my last stadium in Denver, Colorado, and the score is the Denver Broncos 38 and the Dallas Cowboys 13. The value of your money is more important than ever these days, so get professional answers to financial questions like these. Pop will be leaving the business in a few years to retire. Isn't now the time you should get professional advice on his retirement plans? A good retirement program is important. For the advice you need, see your full service bank. They've got the answers. You know, this baby is really going to help me do a lot more work. I wonder, though, if I ought to buy it or lease it. Let a professional help you decide what's best. See your full service bank. They've got the answers. My girls seem to have grown up faster than my income. Now Susan needs braces. And Shelly's ready for college. I guess we'll have to borrow some money. But there are lots of ways. Which is best for us? Keep your checking and savings at a full-service bank and get professional answers to your financial questions. America's full-service banks. We've got the answers. 
Monday night, don't miss Chevy Chase, Goldie Hawn, and Dudley Moore in an uproarious comedy, Foul Play. Monday night at 8, 7 Central and Mountain, followed by a special showing of MASH. We're ready to start the fourth quarter here at Mile High Stadium under the blue Denver skies. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Sonny Jurgensen. The score is Denver 38, Dallas 13. Fourth and six, punt formation. Danny White is back to do the punting. Upchurch has dropped back eight to receive. Hangs it high. Upchurch at the 31-yard line. Circles back. Penalty marker is thrown on the run back, and he got back to about the 31. 40 yard punt with no return. A marker to be checked out by Jerry Mark Wright, the referee. Clipping on the run back against the Denver Broncos. It's at the 16, first and 10. Where this Denver team has come back. Listen to personal foul. Clipping number 43 on the run back. First down. Timeout. Foley clipping. Timeout. So they have taken the timeout here with the score 38 to 13. The clock is stopped. Mr. France. I'm going to convince you that one pain reliever is different from all these others. Come on, there's no difference. Okay, watch. Two regular tablets, 650 milligrams. These other pain relievers also, 650 milligrams. 650 milligrams. They're all the same. But look, 800 milligrams. Anison. Anison has more pain reliever. More pain reliever and a special combination of ingredients. I'm going to try Anison. Get the Anison difference. It's a lonely kind of job, riding fences, but it's a job that's got to be done, so you get it done right, and then you head for the mountains. Push. Head for the beer that goes down smooth as a mountain stream, brewed the natural way so it's always as smooth as its name. Push. here today is 74,919, 189 no-shows for today's game. First and 10 now since the clipping occurred on the run back. It is at the 16-yard line. Matt Robinson. Giving it off to Lawrence McCutcheon, his first carry of the day. We need the team has a break next week, Lindsay. Dallas has Tampa Bay. Denver, San Diego. And a two yards by McCutcheon makes it second down and eight. Rob Lytle is in there, the running back also with McCutcheon. David Moses is with my right. Got it to the 21 yard line. He picked up three yards where it'll be third down and five. Two little running plays as Robinson waits for Preston to come in with the play. Delivered by Dave Preston, three year man from Bowling Green of Ohio. Denver's leading 38 to 13. Church is in a wide right, Haven Moses in a wide left for Matt Robinson. Penalty marker is thrown. As Upchurch made a move. He made a move before the ball was snapped. He went in motion right from the line of scrimmage, but it was upfield. Everything but the count, they'll have to kick it away. Refuse the penalty. Number 80, offense, decline, fourth down. So the punter is in there now. That's Luke Prestridge, 
James Jones is back deep to field it for the Dallas Cowboys. The clock says 13 minutes, 18 seconds left in this game. Denver leading 38 to 13. two-yard line 35 to the 39 Cowboys start first and ten at the 39 we'll return to Mile High Stadium after this word from your local station The Dukes of Hazard star in a special two-hour TV movie presentation. Carnival of Thrills. The action never quits. Be there Tuesday at 8-7 Central and Mount. This is CBS. It takes a special talent to put something all together and get it just right. And that's what old Milwaukee did. We got the taste of light beer right. We got it right. We gave old Milwaukee light the real beer taste you've been missing in other lights and kept it less filling. We got it right. So now you can have your light beer and taste it too. We got it right. We got it right. Old Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Got light right. The Monopolies Commission says Lunabest may have cornered the yogurt market. Lunabest spokesman Terrence Hill disagrees. Understand, Lunabest tastes great to begin with and uses less sugar, so we finish up with a yogurt that has great taste, original flavors, and less calories. I don't think we've cornered the yogurt market. We've just made a darn good product. Taste, flavor, and less calories. Lunabest seems to have a monopoly of goodness. I'll have more Lunabest later. CBS for Western Michigan, Sports Active 3. Dallas Cowboys, Larry Cole, D.D. Lewis. First and 10, short of the 40-yard line. Dallas in possession here. Springs moves over for Danny White. White has the ball. And it is completed. Tony Hill. Just short of the 45-yard line. Joe Rizzo made the tackle. Fourth period score. Cincinnati still leading Miami 14 to 7 now. Red Miller. As the Cowboys can be in their huddle first and 10 at the 45-yard line of the Denver Broncos. 12 minutes, 34 seconds left to play in this game. Start a man in motion out of that alignment. Drew Pearson. Danny White. Jay Saldi. Complete inside the 25-yard line. His fourth catch of the day, Bernard Jackson made the tackle. Manny made a good throw that time. He threw the ball on time just as Saldi went behind the linebackers in the middle of that zone. And now it is Dallas first and ten. At the 25, as the next play is brought in by Dupree, and Saldi goes off. Jim Myers gets caught up in the line there a little bit. Fourth period score, Washington leading the Giants 20 to 14. Danny White. Incomplete. Tom Jackson. Drew Pearson, the intended receiver. Second and ten at the 25. He got hit just as he was getting ready to release the ball by Tom Jackson. He was coming on the blitz. Jay Saldi brings in the next play as you look along the sideline. Quarterbacks for the Denver Broncos, Morton, Robinson. Cardinals are taking the lead over San Francisco in the fourth period. Second and ten here. Set the tailback. Our set to the 23 yard line. Got two yards. It'll be third and eight. Tom Jackson made the stop. In the air, Danny White is 13 for 25, 173 yards. Hill has got three for 69. 
Sally scored four for 50. Matt Robinson, Bronco quarterback, came from the Jets. Two big plays that hurt Danny White. The fumble from the shotgun and the interception both leading to touchdown. Dorsett has carried 17 times for 62 yards. They shifted to the shotgun on third down. Dupree in motion across. Danny White. Incomplete. Pearson at the five. Make it fourth and eight at the 23. Good defense that time. Had him covered. Ten minutes, 49 seconds left. Denver is leading 38 to 13. Which Johnson's bringing in the next play. Trailing 38 to 13, the Cowboys figure they must go. And he right out of the shotgun. Butch Johnson in the end zone. Incomplete. Incomplete. He was across the end line. Ball goes over at the 23. First and 10 to the Denver Broncos. They took their best shot, the long patch pass to Butch Johnson. We all remember the circus catch he made in the Super Bowl. He came up with the reception. But he was out of the end zone. So we have 10 minutes, 42 seconds left to play on this game. Dave Stoddard, the big left tackle from Texas, a lice on the leg. First and 10 at the 23. Robinson, 8 for 17, 160 yards in the air. Haven Moses in motion across. Lytle carrying, and he gets to the 26 yard line. And a three is to be second down and seven yards to go. Oakland 17, San Diego 10 now. Preston has carried 12 times for 26 yards. Jensen, 8 times for 33 yards. Armstrong, 7 times for 34 yards. I'm Landry. David Moses in motion. Lawrence McCutcheon. Out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Bob Bruni, middle linebacker, made the tackle. It'll be third down about a yard. Look at this, a quick pitch out. Moses blocks Waters. And all of a sudden, McCutcheon's on the outside, and Bruning has to get there in a hurry. Third and short. Haven Moses comes off the field. Back to McCutcheon and Lytle, double tied up. Riley Odom. Riley Odom, first and ten for the Denver Broncos. Dennis Thurman up into it. And it's across in Dallas territory. Third catch for Riley Odom today. Taken to the inbounds marker and spotted at the 47-yard line, first and 10. Having this kind of lead, you can do just about anything you want to on third and short yardage that time. The play-action pass, they found Odom's wide open. He goes up the sideline. Denver 38, Dallas 13. Haven Moses right. Rick up church left. deflected by Mike Hegman. Hegman deflected, but there's a holding penalty against the Denver Broncos. And if Mr. Robinson had had the ball low, <laughs> they would have declined the penalty because they would have scored on it. Mike Hegman had a sure interception in. Holding, go 
Number 73, offense, first down. Let's see if we can pick up this holding. You see the interior line. Couldn't quite pick it up, but you saw the ball went high there. Hickman had an interception if it had been accurately thrown. First and 20. Lytle's there. To the 50 45. Rob Lytle finally brought down at the 32 yard line by Dennis Chairman. Good block and good running. What can you say? Denver executing. Take a look at it. You see the man coming back in motion. Paul Howard pulling out, going through the hole, making a block on Brunig. Bring Lytle for the run. Waters couldn't run him down. Thurman and Brunig finally run him out of bounds. So the Broncos have it first and 10 at the Cowboys 32 yard line. We're in the fourth quarter in Denver, Colorado. McCutcheon struggling across the 25. Dennis Thurman, Steve Wilson made the stop. Take a look from ground level. The Dallas defense on the field a long time. And the Denver offense is having some fun. They're blocking and the backs are running with it. Preston comes in, Lytle comes off second and three now. Denver at the Dallas 25. Eight and one half minutes remaining to be played in the game. Denver leading 38 to 13. Matt Robertson kept the ball. His first sack of the day. Ed Too Tall Jones was in there. Lost a seven, makes it third and ten. 540 left. In the fourth quarter, the New York Giants have gone back on top of Washington, 21 to 20. Third down, 10 yards to go for the Broncos. At the Cowboys, 32-yard line. Lytle is back in. It's McCutcheon and Lytle at the setbacks. Red Miller believes in shuffling those running backs. Robinson, screen, right, right along the screen, and he's at the 25, he's at the 20, and he is near the 15-yard line. It is a first down on the screen pass to Rob Lytle. Dickerson and Hurt finally brought him down, spotted outside the 15. For a well-conceived play, Lindsay, they had everybody, every lineman out in front of him at time. A lot of blocking. Dallas back in the nickel defense. Nobody covering the screen. First down, 10 yards to go outside the 15-yard line. Here comes Glenn Hyde back into the ball game. Timeout. Timeout for Matt Robinson and the Denver Broncos. So we have six minutes, 48 seconds left to play in the game. Denver is leading 38 to 13, and Denver is threatening once again. First down, 10 yards to go for the Denver Broncos. Robinson is 10 for 19 in the air today, 198 yards. Lytle and McCutcheon are the setbacks. Robinson, and it is incomplete. Diving try, but I think there is a marker somewhere, and again, we have a fisticuffs breaking out. Haven Moses was the man for whom the pass was intended. The third down conversion, Denver 7 for 12, and Dallas 4 for 12. The fisticuffs with Bill Bryan and Randy White. And who got caught? That is the question. Oakland San Diego tied up again 17 17 in the fourth period. Here's the explanation now. Personal foul on 
unnecessary roughness, number 54, defense, first down. Randy White is number 54. And that puts the ball down just short of the seven yard line. It's a first and goal. to the two-yard line. Lawrence McCutcheon, who had the great years as a running back for the Los Angeles Rams. Second it out and goal to go. John Dutton, playing tackle, made the stop. Second down play coming, 6-18 on the clock. Well, I've been impressed with Denver's offensive line today. They've come off the ball well all day. Stacked up just short. Third and goal. Bob Brunig there. You take a look from ground level right here and watch that interior of the line. Brian Howard and Glassick during the work. Touching fighting down to the one. Ben Hyde has come in once again. Third down play. They're in the double tight on the line with the Haven Moses comes off. Cutson and Lytle. Matt Robinson, the quarterback. Quarterback sneak. Robinson. No sign. Apparently did not get in. Robinson going for his third touchdown, huh? So it will be fourth down. Inches away from the goal line. Five minutes, two seconds left to play in the game. Robinson signaling over to the sideline. They're going to go for it. Got to get another touchdown in there. Inches away from the goal line. Robinson tried the quarterback snake. Does he try McCutcheon? Does he try Lytle? Does he try himself? Lytle does not get there. The Dallas defense holds and takes over on downs. Anthony Dickerson got there. Anthony Dickerson on the stop. The ball goes over on downs to the Dallas defense. Take a look at Dickerson coming over the top here, making the play. The Dallas sideline, Tom Landry on the phone. His Cowboys have the ball, but they have it on their own two-yard line with four minutes, 33 seconds left to play, and Denver leading 38 to 13. Jones and Newhouse are the setbacks. Jones now on the tailback. Newhouse. He got it out across the five-yard line. He's found it just across, I think, and that'll make it second down and seven yards to go at the five. Doug Cosby is coming in now to tight end, number 84. Dupree has gone off. Which Johnson's in a wide right. Put the running back. To Jones carrying. James Jones. Moved out near the 14-yard line. That's enough for a first and ten for the Cowboys. Short made the tackle. And all the while the clock is running in Denver, Colorado, and we have three minutes, 30 seconds left to play in this game. Tony Hill comes into the ball game. James Jones has gone out. So they have a lone setback. And that's Newhouse. Hill is put wide to the left side. It's Johnson wide to the right side. Danny White. And it is completed to Jay Salter. Penalty marker is thrown. He got to the 29-yard line. Bernard Jackson 
and Tom Jackson. Washington back up in front. Moses hit a field goal, 23-21 now in the fourth. Not much time left in that game. Penalty against the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Mark right marks it off. Line of scrimmage was the 14. The arithmetic straight here now. <laughs> One half of 14 is seven. That's it. Offensive pass interference, 87. 87. First down. Jay Saldi, man who caught the pass, pushing off. He was in between two linebackers just trying to get open for the pass. First and 17 at the seven. Andy White, out to James Jones on the screen left. Cuts across the grain and gets it out there to the 18-yard line. Bob Nairn made the tackle. Well, one more man, if he could have gotten to his right one more time, he would have broken open. Second and six at the 18-yard line. And as you said earlier, that clock is running. It's running, and it is ground down now to 225, so keep in mind that we are approaching the two-minute warning, and Denver is leading 38 to 13. Shotgun. White. Up the middle screen, and it is taken by Newhouse. Little man guns it out there for a first down. Larry Evans made the stop. And it is at the 36-yard line, and we're about to arrive at the two-minute warming. As a matter of fact, we have. Two minutes remaining to be played here at Mile High Stadium in Denver, with Denver leading the Dallas Cowboys by a score of 38 to 13. There you see the comparative stats of the quarterbacks in today's ball game. As play is resumed, it is second down and six yards to go with the Dallas Cowboys. They have the ball at the 36-yard line. I beg your pardon, first and 10 at the 36-yard line. Two minutes left to play. First and 10 at the 36. Out of the shotgun. Right and a right screen to James Jones. And Jones is across the 45 to 50. Out of the 48-yard line. First and 10, Dallas Cowboys at the Denver 48. Bill Thompson up to make the tackle. They're ready to go. Clock is running, 140 left to play in the game. Out of the shotgun, Danny White. Tony Hill, he gathered it in at the 23-yard line where it's first and 10. Louis Wright, the defender, and the timeout has been called. Called a quick timeout to stop the clock with one minute, 28 seconds left. Denver 38 and Dallas 13. In Denver, the Cowboys have the ball first and 10. They have it at Denver's 23-yard line. We have one minute, 28 seconds left to play in the game. The Denver Broncos leading the Cowboys 38 to 13. Danny White has quarterback. Cowboys all day long. White is 17 for 31, 244 yards. He's at a shotgun. Going long to the end zone to Tony Hill and touchdown. Tony Hill took it deep in the end zone for the touchdown. A 23-yarder. So the Dallas Cowboys have scored here in the last two minutes of the ball game. They split the zone that time. Get right in the seam of the zone. Good protection. Not a big rush. Everybody playing soft this time. You see him, he just split it, got his feet down right in between the defenders. It's 38 to 19 now with a conversion attempt coming. Stepped in with Charlie Waters holding the attempt. Stepped kick is good. So it is now. Denver Broncos 38 and the Dallas Cowboys 20 with one minute 22 seconds left to play in the game. 
Big day for the Denver Broncos here. They came into this game never having beaten Dallas except in preseason play, never having beaten them in regular season or postseason play. And of course, Denver was defeated last week with the Philadelphia Eagles. The Dallas Cowboys came in here on short rest, admittedly, having played on Monday night and defeated the Washington Redskins in Washington. But from the opening whistle, when the Broncos took the opening kickoff and drove down the field, they have dominated the football game here this afternoon. Uh, this is the kind of game that Denver can take and build on. Matt Robinson had to gain a lot of confidence in this game because he's been outstanding all day. Following football, 60 minutes will be seen in its entirety, except on the West Coast, where it'll be seen at its normal time. I think Dallas, on the other hand, Lindsay, have to go back and regroup. One game, one loss. They have to go back now and uh, go to work. Denver's protecting against the possible onside kick by Septia. He tries it. Grabbed and held right at the 44-yard line. So it'll be taken over there by Denver. Moorhead grabbed the ball. First and ten. Executive producer is Charles Milton, and our producer, Mr. David Fox. Chris Erskine is our director. Johnny Patano. And all of these people who have made this telecast possible here this afternoon. the handoff. Knapple was the quarterback. Knapple was the quarterback. Just handed it off to McCutcheon. McCutcheon getting a little playing time here in the fourth quarter. It's been impressive running the ball. Second down and three at the 37 and the clock says we have 58 seconds remaining to be played in the game. And the Cowboys take a timeout to stop the clock. Jeff Knappel comes over. He is out of North Colorado, 6'2", a 200-pounder. Wants to talk it over with the brain trust of the Denver Broncos. I think Dallas found out today, Lindsay, that you can't win making mistakes. And they made enough mistakes offensively today to last them the entire season. Where Denver, on the other hand, they didn't make any costly errors today. They protected the ball well. They took advantage. They were opportunistic all day long, taking advantage of the Cowboy mistakes, putting points on the board. Now Canaveral comes back onto the field, the quarterback, the Denver Broncos, out of second and three at the 37-yard line of the Dallas Cowboys. Denver's leading 38 to 20. Lytle's the tailback, McCutcheon's the up back. Lytle to the 38-yard line. Bob Brunig made the stop for Dallas. Larry Pithea coming over. Third down, about three yards to go. And Dallas, another timeout. 36 seconds on the clock now. Dallas Cowboys, of course, came into this season knowing they were going to have a lot of adjusting to do with the retirement of Roger Staubach because Roger Staubach had been the heart and soul of the offense of the Dallas Cowboys for so many years. And any time that happens, it does take a major adjustment, regardless of who is the man who follows a legend into a position like that. It takes a little while to get it all straightened out. I'm not sure they've developed their are found the personality that this team will have under Danny White yet. They're still searching for it. Third down play coming now. Apple. Incomplete to McCutcheon. That'll make it a fourth down. Well, they wanted to let him throw the ball. He threw it a little hard that time and a little high. I didn't think McCutcheon was quite ready for it. Following football, 60 minutes will be seen in its entirety, except on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its normal time. 
Shot clock here shows 32 seconds remaining. Tom Landry surveys the scene. Of himself, Tom Landry says, I am a product of the Depression and World War II. There are lots of them. This is going to be a 55-yard field goal attempt. A 55-yard field goal attempt. Hits the crossbar and bounds over, and it's good. Fred Steinfort. Fred Steinfort with a 55-yarder that hit the crossbar and bounded over. 26 seconds left to play. And that's the kind of day it's been for the Denver Broncos. And for the Dallas Cowboys. That's the kind of thing you just let somebody do late in the ball game like this. Look at it again. Watch it hit the crossbar. He had it dead straight at it, didn't he? Well, squarely in the middle. Right in the middle. That makes it 41 to 20. Denver leading. Broncos will kick off. Freddie Steinford, a five-year veteran from Boston College. You uh, you explained to him that the ball carries well in the stadium, right? The ball does carry well. That's an example right, right there. It's fun to play here. Steinford sails at knuckleball downfield. Jones doesn't let it go. Now if he downs, it's touchback. It's touchback anyway, not across the sideline. Touchback first and ten at the 20-yard line. <laughs> says 26 seconds it will not start again until the ball is snapped we have a final Washington beat the New York Giants 23 21 the 45 yard field goal by Mark Mosley right at the two minute mark and right here the Denver Broncos are leading the Dallas Cowboys 41 to 20 Dallas has the ball first and 10 they have it on their 20 yard line Danny White's still the quarterback. He's been there all day long. Hopping back to throw. Clock is running. Pumps one. Well, throws it on the run. And Billy Joe Dupree gathers it in. Forward progress is going to be marked upfield. I think now a fight has started again back at the 15-yard line. It's the third time today we have had tempers flare. So they get that one stopped quickly. Big defensive end, Rulon Jones and Tom Rafferty got into it. Spot. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. 11 seconds on the clock. Then the leading 41 to 20. the shotgun Danny White middle screen Newhouse has got the ball to the 40 lunges across the 45 the clock has run out Newhouse got to the 45 yard line as the game ended and the Denver Cowboys have defeated uh, the Denver Broncos have defeated the Dallas Cowboys by a score of 41 to 20 it was a day that saw Denver get out in front early. They took the opening kickoff and drove straight downfield and scored. And they continued to dominate the football game. As their quarterback, who had not fared so well against the Philadelphia Eagles, Robinson came back with a sterling performance here this afternoon while it was a struggling day all day long for the Dallas Cowboys. Well, it was, but you have to give a lot of credit to the Denver defense. They forced mistakes. They picked up fumbles and ran in for touchdown. They did a lot of things right today, and they, they got to look forward to how they have bounced back and can build for the season. Dallas, on the other hand, have to go back now. They have to regroup because they have Tampa Bay coming next week. Once again, let us tell you here, it's 41-20, to 20, a final score. The NFL on CBS is a presentation of CBS Sports. 